AliExpress dropshipping a full tutorial for beginners. If you're thinking about starting to dropship and AliExpress is on your mind as one of your first suppliers, do not miss this video because here I'm going to take you guys step by step, hand in hand, as I show you how you can start, run and manage a profitable dropshipping business when you're dropshipping from AliExpress, no matter what selling channel you are using. So quick intro and let's go. How do we start dropshipping from AliExpress with over 100 million products to choose from in pretty much any category that you guys can think of and with several selling cha channels to choose from, the selling channels is our online store where we're actually selling our products that we found from AliExpress. So how do we wrap our heads around all this information and actually create a successful dropshipping business? So let's take it from the top. What is AliExpress and dropshipping? So for those who don't know, AliExpress is a huge online marketplace. They've been around for a while. They've got warehouses all around the world, not just in China anymore. And they've got the cheapest prices from pretty much any other supplier that you guys will check. So with all of these advantages, plus them being a super dropshipping friendly supplier, what do we have to lose when dropshipping from AliExpress? Not too much, all we need is the right information. So those are some of AliExpress's main features and benefits. Now, what exactly is dropshipping and how do we combine it together? Dropshipping is a business model, which means that we can actually sell products without holding them in stock, which means we don't have the burden of the expenses of inventory. Now we combine suppliers like AliExpress and dropshipping using any selling channel that we want. Now, some of the best selling channels that we have today are eBay, Shopify, Facebook Marketplace for US citizens, and Wix. Now, there are more marketplaces, but these are my personal favorites. So what we're actually doing is we're grabbing products that we have on AliExpress and we're listing them on our dropshipping stores on our selling channels. Soon we're going to go over all of that information and what selling channels are the best and how to really dropship it successfully when you're using suppliers like AliExpress. But right now, all that you need to know is who is AliExpress and what is the dropshipping business model, which once again, means that we're listing products without holding them in stock and we only pay once we get paid. So a customer places an order on our store, we go to AliExpress and fulfill that order and we'll talk about order fulfillment automation soon. We go to AliExpress, we fulfill that order and we ship it directly to the end customer. We keep the profit between the price that we paid AliExpress and whatever price the customer paid us on our online store. That is the dropshipping business model. It comes with a very low startup investment and that is why it is a very good choice for many people around the world. Plus the fact that all that you really need is a computer and internet connection and the right knowledge and tools which I will be passing on to you in this video. So we understand what AliExpress dropshipping is. Let's go to the next question. And by the way, guys, everything that I'm showing you guys in this video, it's all written in the blog article, which I'll leave a link to right below this video. But do stay tuned because I'm adding a lot of more bonus content into this video. So are we allowed to dropship from AliExpress? The answer is definitely a yes. And AliExpress is also a dropshipping friendly supplier, which means they support dropshippers and they're waiting for dropshippers like you and I to go to their platform and resell more and more of their products. Now, AliExpress is not just one seller. It's actually a huge marketplace with hundreds of thousands of online sellers from China mostly. And what they do is they're simply sourcing products from other Chinese websites that are not translated to English or any other language. So we don't understand Chinese. We cannot go to those websites and buy from them. And they also don't support our currencies and so forth. So what AliExpress is, is simply a marketplace where you have other Chinese dropshippers who are dropshipping the products that they have on their stores in AliExpress from other Chinese websites. This whole world is one big dropshipping method, just so you guys know. But in any case, that's how it works on AliExpress. So you've got thousands and thousands of sellers and you need to find great sellers with trending products that you can resell on your stores. How do we go about doing that? Let's continue with this video. So you're definitely allowed to dropship from AliExpress, but you do want to avoid things like selling copyrighted products or knockoffs. So if it's any company that you've heard of, avoid importing those products to your store, as well as other things like tobacco, firearms, alcohol, medicines, supplements, vitamins, and things like that. But with so many categories that you can dropship on, it's really not gonna be any problem at all. 
If you do want to understand what other products you cannot drop ship, you can once again read the article below this video. And here we have a link to eBay's Vero list and Facebook's commerce policies. So no matter what selling channel you're selling on, even on Shopify, the same rules apply to there. It'll just give you a good idea of things that you can and cannot sell when running an e-commerce business. So what are the advantages and disadvantages of dropshipping from AliExpress before we dive deep into the action? So we already know that, it's, that AliExpress is going to give you access to millions and millions of products that you can resell. They also offer global shipping which means they can ship to pretty much any other country in the world. And on top of that, they offer dropshipping oriented services like the dropshipping center, which I will show you soon when we get to the product research phase. They also offer great buyer protection. So if there was ever any problem with one of your orders, you can open a case with your seller. And if you, and if you can't make it work out with the seller, you can always ask AliExpress to step in. The same standards we have today on huge marketplaces like eBay, we can also see them happening on AliExpress because it really is helping solve cases between buyers and sellers so if you have any problem with one of your customers you can simply pass that on to aliexpress and they'll find the solution for you on top of that you can also pay on aliexpress using various credit cards and also paypal which a lot of people prefer some of the disadvantages of dropshipping from aliexpress is that you have long shipping times from products that are being sourced from china so we all know that any delivery from china to the us or to the uk or anywhere else around the world can take anywhere from one week to one month and sometimes even more in extreme cases. Now, most buyers wanna get their items in up to one week. And I'm going to show you some neat tricks on how to do that using AliExpress. But that's one of the disadvantages if you don't know how to work around that. Also, you've got the language barrier. Some sellers on AliExpress don't really speak English too well. They were able to get a translated store up and running in English, but that doesn't mean that if you reach out to them, they'll be able to help you with whatever you need because some of them simply do not know English well. So we need to be communicative with our sellers on AliExpress and make sure that they are answering on time and in a professional manner and of course, understand our language. Another disadvantage that we have from AliExpress is that we cannot bundle orders together. So if on your store you have several variations in one product page or even if you have separate variations for each product and one of your buyers adds a few products at once to their cart and they check out most buyers are actually expecting it to come in one package because they bought from the same store but you're buying from different suppliers on aliexpress that means that the products are not going to be bundled together which can inevitably increase our shipping costs so the way to work around some of these issues is simply by going to sellers that have high ratings in aliexpress but we're really going to get to all of that soon let's continue with the introductions before we dive straight into the action another question that i find many beginners asking is will buyers know that my items are coming from aliexpress so someone buys something from my store I purchase it from AliExpress, I ship it directly to the buyer. Will the buyer see that the package is coming from AliExpress? The answer to that is in some cases they will, but in most cases they simply will not care. Now, if you've been dropshipping for a while, you know exactly what I mean. When a buyer gets their package, they're happy about getting their package and that they got it on time. And of course, that the product is as described on your listing. That's all that they really care about. It doesn't matter if they're going to see an AliExpress logo, an Amazon logo, or anything else. Now, you can still avoid having the buyer know where the package came from, depending on what shipping carrier you choose when you're drop shipping from AliExpress, when you're purchasing the product and selecting your shipping company. AliExpress shipping standard or AliExpress standard shipping usually has AliExpress's logo on the package. So if you have another shipping option which isn't too expensive and it's not AliExpress standard, you can go ahead and choose that one as long as it's not gonna take too long to reach the buyer, of course. And that way the buyer also won't know that it's coming from AliExpress. But either way, it doesn't matter. Go with whatever shipping option gives you tracking information and with whatever, of course, shipping option will arrive to your buyers on time. And that doesn't cost you too much money so you can make that extra profit. Does AliExpress offer worldwide global shipping? Now, I already answered that one. They definitely do. And all that you need to do on the top right on AliExpress is choose your ship to. So here you have a screenshot explaining it, but I can also show it to you. So here's AliExpress's website. And here you've got the American flag. I'm going to click on that. And this is my ship too. So I can change my ship to to any other country around the world. And then I'll only see countries that can ship to that country. So if, for example, I'm targeting 
the United Kingdom, then I'll just write United Kingdom here on the search. And here we go. I can choose the United Kingdom and whatever currency I want to see. In this case, they change it automatically to Great Britain Pound. Of course, that makes sense for the UK. So this just comes to show you that AliExpress can ship items to any countries that, that you want around the world. All you need to do is simply search for your product and change your ship too. And that way you'll get the results for whatever can ship to that specific country. Another question that many people ask before they get started is should I open a general store or a niche store? And this is a great question. When you're a beginner and you're not sure what niche is going to sell well, you're better off not starting a niche store and that's just because if that niche is not going to work too well, doesn't matter how much hours you put into it and how much you worked on product research and how long it took you to get your store up and running and even how much time and money you spent on it, you're not going to make that much sales, not enough to profit because you did not check out other niches first. So what you should do in the beginning is create a general store. Once again, guys, it doesn't matter if you want to drop ship on eBay, Shopify, Wix, Facebook Marketplace. The same applies to all. You want to start with a general store and from there you want to check out general categories, different categories and see which ones start to sell. Now you want to check out enough products in under each category to be able to really analyze and test the market well. Once you will see that items will start to sell under a certain category, you should start to multiply that success by looking for more products from that category and adding them to your store. And once you have a category that's actually selling really well, then you can go ahead and open a niche store under that category. That is what some of the biggest dropshippers today have done when they gotten started. And that is still a wonderful and perfect strategy to practice today when you're starting a new dropshipping store. So definitely start with a general store, find that good niche that's selling, and then expand into that niche. Now we went over the main questions that people usually ask before getting started. Now let's go ahead and get started on how to start drop shipping on AliExpress. The first step that you want to take to have a successful drop shipping business when drop shipping from AliExpress is to find a winning product. Now this is really, really important. It's product research and it's all about product research. The more you work hard on product research, the better results you're going to get. A few hours of work is simply not going to cut it. You have to research products for a long time. You have to test out products, see what's selling, see what's not, remove those slow movers and add more trending products and more products similar to those that are already selling for you in order to multiply your profits while always continuing to test new products in new categories. So how do we go about product research? I will show you guys that in just about a minute. The second step is to choose a selling channel. So you found a winning product or you found some winning products. Now you need to know what selling channel you want to sell them on. Do I want to sell them on Facebook? Do I want to sell them on Shopify? Do I want to sell them on Facebook, on Wix? We'll go over the pros and cons of each selling channel soon. So we found a good product and we chose what selling channel we want to sell it on. The third step is to choose an automation software. Why do we need automation softwares? Because we simply cannot do everything ourselves. If we do all of our work manually, there will never be enough time in the day to really be able to grow and scale our dropshipping businesses and make significant profits. We can sell, we can make profits when doing everything manually, but once again, everything will be limited and there will be a certain cap to how much we can do and how much we can profit at the end of the day and at the end of the month. So we found a winning product to sell. We chose what selling channel we want to sell it on. We chose the right automation software to help us scale and automate our dropshipping business. The next step is to import our products to our store, which I will show you guys how to do it. And the last step is to fulfill your orders once they start to come in. It's not that hard when we list it in just five steps. Now let's walk through each step step by step. So how do we find winning products on AliExpress? Now there are a few ways to find winning products and one of my favorite ways is the AliExpress Dropshipping Center. So I'm going to click on the AliExpress Dropshipping Center using the link that I have in the article right below this video and that will take you directly to the Dropshipping Center on AliExpress. And here it is right here. What I'm going to do is click on find products to sell and of course AliExpress created this tool only for dropshippers. As I mentioned, AliExpress is a very dropshipping friendly supplier and they'll do anything to help you, the dropshipper, sell more and succeed. 
That's one of the reasons why they are one of the best dropshipping suppliers we have today. What I did right now on the dropshipping center is I clicked on find products to sell. And right now you can see a full list of products that I have right here in this chart, starting with the product's name. Then we've got the product's price. Then we've got how many orders this product has, how many of those orders are dropshipping orders, what is the overall product rating, the sales performance for this product, and of course you can also analyze it and see the selling history, how much it's sold in the past and how much it's selling right now. So let's start with the first product that we have right here. A 5D do-it-yourself diamond painting flowers vases roses cross stitch set. So I can see that this product is being sold for only $3.81 and it has 38, 38 orders with a rating of 4.9. That's not a bad start, but let's see what other options we have here. You can search for whatever product you're looking for. So if, if, so if you want to test a certain niche, you can simply search for it right here and slash, or you can choose a different, you can choose a specific product category. So if you want to test out a certain category, just choose it right there. Now here you can also change your ship from as well as your ship to. So if for example you're targeting the US audience, you want to make sure that your ship to is to the United States because I want to see what products can ship to the US. And your ship from, you can change to whatever country. If you have a specific country or warehouse location in mind, you can change that right here. Or for example, if you want to ship quickly to the Italian audience because you're drop shipping to Italy, you can see what's shipping from Italy and then change your ship to to Italy and then you'll get fast domestic shipping times. So that's another idea that you can have in order to increase your shipping times and get better shipping times to your end customers. I'm just going to leave this blank. The next filter you have here is the del delivery time. So you can see whatever products can ship in under 10 days, under 20 days, 30 days, 40 days and so forth. Price range and if you want to have products that have e-packet shipping or free shipping or products that have videos inside of them and you have more filters over here. So this is a great way to start off and see what is selling well. For example, let's say I want to tap into the pets niche and I want to see how dog collars are selling. So I'm just going to search for dog collar. And as you can see here, I have a whole bunch of dog collars that have a lot of sales as well as dog harnesses and other pet accessories that are related to collars. And there are about 250 pages of results here. Some of these orders have a lot of orders, like this cat dog ID here with 265 with a 4.8 average. So I will definitely go and see what's special about this product and look for more products that are like that in my selling channel to see how well that is going. Let's take one item that we would want to check. Like, let's say this pet control harness over here, 25 orders, not too low, not too high maybe we can catch on to this trend. So I'm going to click on this product to see what it is. And of course, like I mentioned, you can also analyze it here on the right to see its selling history. But right now I want to check this product on AliExpress and see what all the fuss is about. Okay, so here is the product. I've got my ship two configured on the United States. Now I've got all of these different colors in different variations in different sizes so I can choose whatever I want or I can of course add them all to my store at once. And here we've got the shipping options. So right now we know that we're looking for whatever can ship to the United States. And this product at just two and a half dollars has free shipping from China to the United States. Now, if I click on the shipping here, I can choose different shipping options and see what other options we have. Here I'm going to click on more options. Now, here are the shipping methods. First, I've got free shipping from China to the US via I'm not sure how to pronounce this, Sainiao Super Economy, Economy Global. And the estimated delivery will be on April 16th. Today is February 14th while I'm recording this video. So two months without any tracking information. That's not that good if you ask me. Let's move on to the next option. Using Sainiao Super Economy, estimated delivery, pretty much the same date, and also no, no tracking available. And this one will set me back $2.30 instead of free. What I would always suggest to do is always look for something that has tracking information available. So no matter where you're selling, when the buyer wants to know where his package is, you'll always be able to track the events and even have the buyer track the events which means they won't even have to reach out to you in the first place. They'll have all the answers set out in front of them. So even if that costs a little bit extra money, that's fine. We always want to offer tracking information to our buyers. If the buyer opens up a case and says, hey, I didn't receive this item and you don't have any tracking information, you don't have anything to back up and prove that the product did arrive. And this way you're either going to have to send a refund 
or repurchase the product to the buyer and end up losing money. So we'll pay a little bit extra for tracking and that way we'll avoid all kinds of mistakes in the future that will end up costing us even more. So now I've got another shipping option here for $4.80 from China to the United States using AliExpress standard shipping. Estimated delivery March 15th, which is just one month away. Now, I'm not saying just as if it's a small amount of time. One month is still a long time. And this is just one quick product that I found using the AliExpress dropshipping center. But of course, as I mentioned to you guys, you have to spend hours and hours of product on product research, but you will find results the more that you test it. And then you will start to get addicted to the whole dropshipping business model. So $4.80, it'll, it'll arrive in one month. And I've got tracking information available. That's the shipping option that I'm going to use. So overall, I'm going to have to pay $4.80 and another two and a half dollars for this product. You, then you're going to choose your variation. And of course, you can buy it or add it to cart and send it directly to your buyer as soon as you get orders. But that's not what we're here to talk about yet. Let's go back. So we're talking about product research and the AliExpress dropshipping center is one of the best places to start to get yourself familiar with what products are trending and what products are selling right now. Another method is to use the, the product research tool that's already integrated inside the AutoDS system. So if you're using AutoDS, this is a free tool for you, for you to use. I'm just gonna click right here on the top left and I'm gonna change from the platform to the product research platform. And here inside the system, you have a lot of products that are selling really well, that are trending, and you can filter it in so many ways. For example, you can choose a different product category, what warehouses you want the products to ship from, what suppliers you want to use, the item cost, retail price, the product rating, how long it takes to reach the buyer, when it was updated, and how many reviews it has. Now, if I click on any of these products, I'm gonna see the full product information inside along with the product specifications and the amount of reviews it has. And if we look here on the left side, we can always br browse through popular products and that's automatically going to open up a filter with products that have a greater than 4.5 rating as you can see here with more than 100 product reviews. And as you can see here, the products loaded up all of these products are selling really well. You can see, of course, the product's thumbnail image, the title, the supplier, how long it takes to reach the buyer. In this example, it's six business days, the item cost, and the suggested retail price. And of course, if you wanna import any of these products to your store, all you have to do is click right here, import product. And just like that, it will import to your store where you can continue optimizing it. And of course, it will go up for sale and anyone can go ahead and buy it. Also, you've got new products holiday products which are always updating according to the next holiday that you have coming up so you can always prepare your store in advance and get an edge over your competition then you've also got us suppliers and china suppliers and we're soon also going to add wholesale suppliers and private suppliers that only you can work with when of course working with auto ds that is another product research method that i highly suggest you guys to try and implement and take advantage of now if you're selling on ebay and you want to know if the product is trending well on eBay, the only thing that you need to do is search for that product on eBay search engine. So for example, let's say that I want to check out this adjustable pet control harness that we were just on earlier. So what I'm going to do is take the product's title or at least the main part of it and I'll simply paste it right here on eBay's search. So here you can see that a lot of people are selling similar products to that harness that we just saw in different variations and different forms. So it's hard to find the exact same one. And that's another advantage that, you, that you'll have as a dropshipper, you won't be like the next competitor in line. Now you can see the prices here range from anywhere between $6 to $14 and even more. But how do we know which of these listings are actually selling? What you wanna do is here, click on sold items, and then unclick on completed items, which will click in automatically because completed items is only showing me products that are not in stock anymore. And right now, it's only going to show me pet harnesses that have sold and they're still in stock. So there's a high chance that these are drop shippers and I'll be able to see if this product is even trending, if this product is even in demand, if I should even be taking a look at it. Now, as you can see, this one sold on February 9th, this one on December 1st, this one on January 25th, this one on fe February 13th. So all of these products have sold anytime within the last month or two at most. February 12th, February 12th, February 12th, February 13th. Today's the 14th, by the way. So as you can see, this product is trending. It is in demand. People are looking for dog harnesses. So I would definitely check out that niche, look for certain features, look for certain variations, and test out a whole bunch 
before seeing if this product is a good seller or not. And that was just after two minutes of doing this product research method with you guys. Now, if you want to drop ship on Shopify, how can you tell if this product is going to sell well for you? So what you want to do is search Google for pet stores or pet shops and open up a whole bunch of links that you have, a whole bunch of e-commerce stores. And also, on the other hand, download and install an extension called the Koala Inspector, which is free to try. And what you're gonna do with this tool is spy on other Shopify competitor stores. So what you're gonna do is open up a whole bunch of stores in the pets niche, and you're going to enable this extension on all of those stores. The extension will first of all tell you if this is a Shopify store or not. And if it is, you'll be able to see what products are selling, what products are actually successful in selling their hot sellers, what themes they are using, what apps they are using, and other secret tools that this certain website, this certain dropshipper is using. And what you can do is gather this information and use those practices on your website or similar things. And this way, you'll have a much higher edge over your competitors that are just testing out products without knowing what is selling. You're going to start off with a store with proven products that are in demand and that are selling. So this is a great tool to use if you're dropshipping on Shopify. And if you're dropshipping on Wix, Koala Inspector will soon support that too. And if you're dropshipping on Facebook Marketplace, you can just pretty much go ahead and sell any product that is trending without having to search anything anywhere else because the competition on the Facebook Marketplace is extremely low. There's not a lot of dropshippers on there, but the dropshippers that are utilizing the Facebook Marketplace for dropshipping are making substantial profits. And if you don't believe me, check out my personal case study with my Facebook Marketplace dropshipping account on our YouTube channel. There is a full Facebook Marketplace live case study that will show you guys how to start, run, and manage a successful dropshipping business on the Facebook Marketplace. So that's a little bit about product research. There are many, many more methods for product research, but I can make this video go on for hours just on that subject. So stay tuned on our YouTube channel at youtube.com slash autods. Stay tuned on our blog page at autods.com slash blog. And we've got so many product finding and product research methods that we're always popping out and always sharing more and more information and valuable information at that. So that's the first step, find trending products on AliExpress. And when you find that trending product, you also want to check out that seller. Make sure that, that the seller has good history with AliExpress. Make sure that they've been around for a while. Make sure that they've got a positive feedback. So how do we do that? This is the product that I wanted to check out. What I'm going to do is I'm going to hover over the seller right here. And I can see that he's been around since December 12, 2019. Item as described, communication and shipping speed is anywhere between 4.6 to 4.7. Even if you see it as a below average, 4.6 is still fine. That should be your limit. Anything 4.5 or below will not be too good. And you also want a seller that's been active on AliExpress for over one year. Because new sellers, oftentimes, they don't turn out to be successful sellers and they close down their stores. And then you want to return an item or you want to reach out to them and they're not there anymore. So usually sellers with high ratings that have been around for at least one year are here to stay. The next thing that you want to do is click the contact now button and actually contact the supplier and check out their communication speed. And of course that they have good English so that you can actually communicate with them. Those are the two things that you always want to make sure that you have on AliExpress before importing products from these sellers. Okay, so we did our product research. We found a winning product. The next step is to choose what selling channel is good for us, where we actually want to sell these products on. So the main options that I talked about in this video, because these are the most popular options for dropshippers, is eBay, Shopify, Facebook Marketplace, and of course Wix, which is similar to Shopify. Now let's break down each selling channel and see the pros and cons of each one so that you can make the right choice on whichever one best suits your style. So the first choice that you have is eBay. eBay is a huge marketplace with many advantages, but also some disadvantages for dropshippers. eBay's biggest advantages is that they have millions and millions of customers, which means that you don't need to promote your products and you don't need to market your products in order to get sales. eBay will make sure that you'll get free organic traffic to your store. The only thing that really matters is your product's title. Well, it's not the only thing that really matters, but a big factor in whether you're going to get traffic to your store or not is how well you optimize your product's title on eBay. It is also important on other marketplaces like Shopify, but it doesn't have the same strength as, as, it, as it does on eBay because eBay's SEO, the search engine optimization, the way to rank well is to simply have a good product title 
and of course to sell something that people are looking to buy. So when someone opens up eBay right now and they search for something, you want your product title to be as close to that search as possible while of course being relevant to the product that you're selling. So see what product titles your competitors are using, take the strong keywords that they have and also add some of your own from your product. So what you wanna do here is really test out product titles and work really hard on that. That's how people are going to get to your store. So you're gonna get a lot of free organic traffic on eBay. Another thing is that it's actually very easy to start dropshipping there. All you need to do is create a seller's account eBay is going to give you free listings right from the start, so you have zero expenses. Start listing those items, start selling them, increase your eBay selling limits, and the more selling limits you'll have, the more you'll be able to list and sell. Now, the disadvantages to dropshipping on eBay is that, well, you have those selling limits, and if it's a new seller account, eBay is going to limit you to 5 to 10 items, and you have to slowly work your way up and open up your eBay selling limits so that you can really be able to sell and profit. So you won't be making substantial profits from day one, it is a business that you are going to start building slowly. Then you've got Shopify. Shopify is a fully customizable website where you're going to get your own domain name, www.yourstore.com. Everything is fully customizable and you can import thousands of products from day one because no one is telling you what to do with your store and how many selling limits you have. It's your store and you can do whatever you want with it. Now, the thing is with Shopify is that it requires a lot more work to get your store up and running when compared to eBay, for example, where all you have to do is sign up and list your first product and everything is self-explanatory from there. But on Shopify, you have to create your whole store. You need to create your homepage, your legal pages everything needs to simply be recreated from the ground up even if you have no technical skills you can still get it done because it has a pretty friendly user interface but it takes a lot more time to get your store up and running and once your store goes live you'll have to start paying shopify a monthly subscription of 29 dollars even before you made any sales and on top of that you also have to market your products because you're not getting any free organic traffic from Google unless your store has been around for a while and you, you really worked hard on SEO to bring it to the front page, but you're not going to be making any organic traffic, at least not at the start. And you have to market your products so that buyers will know that your store even exists. And of course, if you're targeting the wrong products or the right product to the wrong audience, then you're just going to be wasting a whole bunch of money in the beginning before you start seeing sales and success. So it's harder to succeed on Shopify, but once you do succeed, it's, it's much more scalable than eBay. Then you've got the Facebook marketplace, which I already mentioned. It's very easy to get started. The only thing that you need is to be a US citizen with a US IP address. Otherwise, you will not have shipping options when importing listings when you're creating your listings on Facebook, which means the 50 states in the US will not see your product. They won't be able to see it. They won't be able to buy it and you won't be making much sales on the Facebook marketplace if you don't meet those requirements. So if you have that, I definitely suggest to try out the Facebook marketplace. And of course, you've also got Wix, just like Shopify, super customizable, but you're not getting any organic traffic, which means we need to have a budget for marketing in order to bring traffic to our store using all kinds of methods like influencer marketing platforms, Facebook ads, Google ads, email marketing campaigns, and so much more. So once you do build a good email list, you know, a good email subscriber list, you will be able to send emails to those buyers without having to spend much, but it takes time to get that email list going. So those are some of the examples. And by the way, guys, if you wanna have a free A to Z Shopify dropshipping course on how to get started and scale and succeed and market and do everything the right way on Shopify, it's a full course, about 40 lessons there. I'm going to leave a link to it right below this video. And of course, same goes for eBay. We've got a full eBay course, how to dropship for beginners, a full tutorial step-by-step -step guide. Once again, links right below this video. We really wanna help you guys out with as much information, with as much value as we can provide in order to have you guys succeed with your dropshipping businesses. So once you choose the right selling channel for you after, you, after you thought about all the pros and all the cons, you can even, of course, test out different selling channels and see what's best for you instead of sticking to one until it works or doesn't work out before switching to the other. It all depends on the amount of time and the amount of effort that you can put into it. So we found the product, we, we did the product research, we found the product that we wanna sell or the niche or the products that we wanna sell and we chose where we want to sell it, what selling channel we're going to use. Now we need to combine all of this with a dropshipping tool that will synchronize and automate between everything. And once again, why do we need dropshipping tools? 
Well, it's going to help us automate our dropshipping businesses and not limit ourselves as I explained earlier with great features like price and stock monitoring, automatic order fulfillment, quick product importing, a great product research tool that I showed you guys just a few minutes ago and so much more. You guys have to use automation tools. And of course, I'm going to recommend none other than AutoDS, which has all of these features built in inside with over 25 suppliers that you guys can automate your businesses with, even though here we're talking about AliExpress, but just so you know, you've got that much more suppliers that you can work with and so much more features going on. See all of the features that you have there. See why it's the number one automated dropshipping tool out there. And once you make that decision, come back here and let's continue. So once you signed up for AutoDS and you're ready to get started, the next step is to import your first product. Now, once again, if you wanna do it manually, that's completely fine, but understand that you'll need to copy and paste everything from your supplier's page to your store. And if you wanna add 10 products or 100 products or 1,000 products, it's gonna take you so much time that you could have invested in product research and in scaling and growing your dropshipping business. So how are you going to import your product for the first time? The first thing that I recommend to do is download and install the Chrome AutoDS dropshipping helper because this way you'll be able to import a lot of products at once. Once you have that extension installed, the process is actually very, very simple. Let's see how we import a product using dropshipping automation. So let's go back to that safety harness tool and let's say that that's the product that we wanna to add to our stores. So first on AutoDS, I'm going to leave the product research center and go back to the platform. And then I'm going to click here on add products on the left side. Here I have a few choices. One, I can import a single product. Two, I can import multiple products to multiple stores. And three, I can use the AutoDS Finder, which I'm not using at this instant. So in this case, let's see the multiple products, just in case we wanted to use that option. Now here, I can choose what store or what stores I wanna publish these products on. And here I can simply add the URLs or the product IDs for the products that I wanna to import to my stores. So in this case, for example, I can take the URL for this product up here. So I'm just gonna copy the URL and paste it right in inside this text box. And I can add multiple products by making a line break and simply adding more product IDs or more product URLs, and I can continue with this process. So that's one way to add multiple products to your store in just a few seconds. Here we've got the supplier source, so the system can already identify that the supplier is AliExpress and that the region is China, but of course we can change it if it's not correct. Now, another way is to upload a CSV file. And this is if you really wanna add tens to hundreds to thousands of products at once without copying URLs and IDs. So what you're gonna do in this case is go back to the search that you had on AliExpress. Let's say you have a certain niche or a, or a certain uh, product category that's selling really well for you. And what you wanna do is simply take a whole search page and add all of those products. So here, for example, let's search once again for, um, let's go with dog colors again. And for this feature, I also need the AutoDS Chrome Dropshipping Helper extension, which I talked about a couple minutes ago. By the way, I talked about having a full guide to eBay and a full dropshipping course on Shopify. For those of you who are thinking about Facebook Marketplace, do not worry, we also have a full tutorial guide on that. I'll leave the link, of course, right below this video. All right, so we've got all of the dog colors here and let's see that this niche has been exploding for you recently and you wanna add all of the dog colors that you see on this page. So how are you going to go about doing that? Once again, download and install the, the AutoDS Chrome Dropshipping Helper extension. It's completely free to use. And once you have that extension installed, you're going to notice a little AutoDS circle on your supplier's pages when you're searching for products. And what that circle means is, well, I'll show you. So here we are once again on the dog collar search page. Here I've got the AutoDS circle. I'm simply going to click on it. And as you see, all of the products on this page what I'm going to do next is click here on extract. And what happened was all of the 60 products that I have on this page right here, all the product IDs got extracted into this little exporter. Then I'm going to click on export as CSV. And as you see, an AliExpress export CSV file was just created on my computer. The next step is probably self-explanatory, but I'm going to head back to the AutoDS platform and in the add multiple products, upload CSV column. I'm going to drag and drop that CSV file right here. And that's how easy it is to import all of the products from that CSV file or from that supplier search page onto AutoDS or onto your selling channel. So I can simply click on it to open up my browser window or simply drag and drop it from my computer 
into this little drop CSV file box that I have right here. Give that just a couple of seconds and the file is uploaded. Then all I have to do is click right here, add us draft, and all of those 60 products, whether they're 60 products or 100 or 1000 or 10,000, that's how simple it is to get them all to the drafts page. Now, once the product is in the drafts page, you can easily optimize it. The product's title, the description, the variants, the pricing, the automation settings, item specifications, and so much more. Optimize your product to look great, and then you will be able to import it to your store, which then it will move to the products section. And that means it's live on your store and anyone can go see it and buy it. So that's one way to add products. And a quicker way, if you just want to do one single product, if you want to import only one, this is the way to do it. So click on add products and single product, then choose what store you want to add it on. So I'm going to add one product to one store to my eBay USA store. Then it's going to ask you for the product ID or the URL. So once again, I'm going to go to that product, copy the URL and paste it right over here. Next, I'll click on edit now quick. What's happening now in the background is Autodesk is grabbing all of the products information from AliExpress and it's creating a draft for me to add to my stores. So while I just said that sentence, that's all the time that it took for this import process to get started. Here's the product now on my drafts page. As I mentioned, we can update and optimize all of the following fields, the product's title, what category it belongs to, what shipping methods, what shipping methods we want to use, what tags we want to have for this product. AutoDS already took product tags from its own recommendation. We can always add more. What policies we want to use for this product, the country location, of course, products coming from China, you want to use a Chinese item location. I'm going to talk a little bit more into detail soon when we get into order automation, but right now this is, these are the things that you need to know. And of course, what you want to monitor, the price monitoring, stock monitoring, automatic ordering, then you've got the product's description. So everything that's written on the AliExpress product page will of course be written inside your product description. And you can click to open up the item description editor with all of the text editing fields that you see right here. So it makes it really, really user friendly. And of course you've got the template. So you can use whatever template you wanna use. You can create new templates, you can import new templates, and you can of course use AutoDS's free product templates. So your products will look much better. You look like a professional store and people will want to buy from you rather than those who are not using templates and simply do not look like a professional business. Then you've got the products variants. So these are all the different variations and we can edit each variant separately if we wanted, which has the product's price, the item dimensions, the weight and so forth. So here you can see all of them are in stock. So as soon as I import them to my store, the, the buyer will be able to choose any variant that we want, the different colors and the different sizes, everything that we had available on AliExpress. And we've got 40 different variations just for this product. So if I can, if, so if I continue scrolling, you can see all the different sizes and colors. And of course that everything is in stock. Next, you've got the products images and the item specifications. So continue optimizing your product. And once you're done, click on save and import. And as I mentioned, it will move from drafts to products. That way you'll know that it's now live on your store and anyone can go ahead and see the product and of course purchase it. So that's how simple it is to use dropshipping automation to import products to your store, whether it's one product or a hundred products or a thousand products. So we've got a few different ways to import products. Use whatever method is good for you. Now let's talk about order automation because up until now, we know how to research our products. We chose the right selling channel for us and we imported our products to our stores using automation tools that help us save a lot of time. Now, of course, you can do that for eBay, Shopify, and the Facebook marketplace. All of the guides for that, once again, in the links below this video. So once we have all of that ready, we, we've got the products, we chose what stores we wanna sell those products on and we imported those products to our stores. Now we're making sales. Now, how do we start fulfilling those orders? And by the way, let's just take it back a sec. Now we're making sales on marketplaces like eBay and Facebook Marketplace, but for Shopify and Wix, you guys still need to market your products. You guys need to learn about how to market your products. And that is why I highly suggest to check out our free Shopify course, which also goes through all of the marketing methods and how to actually go about what's the daily budget, how to target your audience, and how to create a successful ad on Facebook, which is one of the best marketplaces today for marketing. Okay, so let's go back to where we were. How do we fulfill our orders once they came in? Now, as I mentioned, there's always the manual method of going to AliExpress, adding the product to your cart, and using your buyer's shipping details to ship the product directly from AliExpress to your buyer, 
and you are just simply going to keep the profit in the middle. So that's one way to do it, the manual method. Then you've got once again order automation and this you want it for scaling because if you're going to have 50 orders per day and you're going to have 50 orders per day once you put enough work on it and you know guys 50 orders is, is not enough the biggest drop shippers the big drop shippers will also tell you that but let's say you, today you have 50 orders per day so you're already making some good profit at 50 orders per day but now you're spending all day fulfilling your orders and making sure that the addresses are correct and making sure that aliexpress didn't make any mistakes while fulfilling the orders and making sure that you've got tracking information that no orders are running late and the whole process of manually fulfilling each order one by one once you get 50 orders per day you'll soon find out that, that that is all that you're doing now. You're not growing your business anymore. You're not adding more products. You're not putting any more time into product research and growing your store. You're simply fulfilling your orders day and night. So yeah, you're finally making some profit, but that is how much that, that is as much as you're going to make. You're not going to be able to scale it any more than that. And that is exactly why you need order automation. Now, what is order automation? You've got two types of order automation with AutoDS. The first type, is semi-automatic orders. And what that means is AutoDS can use your buyer account, your information, which you set up on AutoDS. I will show you how to do that. So here on AutoDS, you're just gonna click on settings. And in the settings up here, you've got the buyer accounts column. Now here you can see that I created a buyer account for my Amazon US account. And this buyer account is currently active. I can create another buyer account and this time in the supplier instead of Amazon I'll choose AliExpress. Then I'm going to fill in my details for my AliExpress account. Then what happens next is once I have my buyer account up and ready I'm going to go back to the settings. I'll click on store settings and here in orders I will enable just the automatic orders which requires a buy account but I will not enable fulfilled by AutoDS because that is not what we're talking about here. So now that automatic orders is filled in, all of my orders will be fulfilled automatically as soon as they come in on the orders page using my buyer account on AliExpress and whatever payment methods settings I have set there. The next order fulfillment method is the fulfilled by AutoDS service and this one is much much better simply because of the fact that you won't be needing your own buyer account and your own payment method. AutoDS has their own buyer accounts which they will use to process your orders you just obviously need to pay for those orders. So the way to pay for your orders is by simply loading your balance onto the AutoDS system and the AutoDS will use that balance to fulfill your orders. So if you have a balance of $100 and the order costs $30, then your balance will be updated to $70 and that order will be processed automatically. Now, when we talk about semi-automatic or automatic orders, your tracking numbers are also going to be updated automatically on AutoDS and on your selling channel. And also on top of that, you can also convert your tracking numbers to Aqualine from AliExpress, meaning all of your tracking numbers from AliExpress, if you're going to use a tracking number that, if you're going to use a shipping carrier that's, for example, not supported by eBay, like AliExpress standard shipping, then you can automatically get it converted to a UPS tracking number. And of course, you're also going to get zip code masquerade with Aqualine, which means your item location, whatever item location you have set, in your listing if you're dropshipping on eBay. That is the item location that, that Aqualine is going to use on the tracking events. So if you're dropshipping on eBay, you will not be breaching their item location policy by saying that you're listing from a certain zip code, but at the end they see that it gets shipped from a different zip code from the tracking events. So check out Aqualine for more information on that. We have a video on it on our YouTube channel, so search for Aqualine Auto DS and learn on how to work with that. So once you opt into the Fulfilled by Auto DS service, all you need to do is enable it in your settings and then all of your orders will be processed automatically as soon as they come in, along of course with tracking number updates. And you'll also have easy one-click returns. You have a full explanation on that once again on our YouTube channel and on our blog page. And of course, on our Fulfilled by AutoDS feature page, as you can see right here in front of me, along with a step-by-step -step explanation on how to get started using the Fulfilled by AutoDS service. But in general, it's actually very, very simple. For both methods, whether, the, whether it's the semi-automatic or the Fulfilled by AutoDS service, you want to first make sure that the orders processor is enabled in your plans and add-ons on the settings. Then for the semi-automatic, you're going to add the buyer account. For the Fulfilled by AutoDS service, you really do not need that. Just go back to the store settings and under the orders tab, of course, you want to click on the right supplier and on the right store here on the left side. So here, I'm going to click on AliExpress China and let's say I'll stick with eBay USA as a selling channel. Then here, I'm going to click in process orders using the Fulfilled by AutoDS service. 
and the automatic orders which requires the buyer account or the fulfilled by auto ds service management what that means is as soon as an order comes in it'll process out automatically and if i don't have it checked in if i have only the process orders using the fulfilled by auto ds service then when an order comes in it'll be in pending status and i'll have to switch it manually from pending to send to auto order and then the system will process the order automatically. Here is the order screen and how it looks. And here are the order statuses. So we have orders that are in ordered status, which means they have been ordered by the system. And I'm just waiting for a tracking number to be available. Once it's available, the system will update it automatically and the status will change to shipped. Once it gets delivered to our buyer, the status will change to delivered. Now we can open a return request if the, if the buyer wants to return the product. As I mentioned, it just takes one click to switch the status to start a return request. And if the return is approved by the supplier, if you're under the right policies, then you'll have a return label attached right next to the order right here, where you can simply click and download that return label, send it to your buyer. And as soon as they send the product back, you have tracking information, which you can track from the return label then you'll be able to send a refund to the buyer while also getting a refund yourself from the fulfilled by AutoDS system. If you are not eligible for a return, if too much time has passed or for any other reason, you'll have a return failed option as you can see right here. But besides that, everything works pretty smooth. As soon as the orders come in, they get fulfilled even while you travel, even while you sleep. And this is simply amazing, especially once you have a few orders per day, which is already wasting your time. And once again, your buyers are gonna be really happy when let's say you went to sleep at night, you didn't have any orders. You woke up in the morning, your order is not only ordered, but it's also shipped. Your buyers are going to get their products that much faster. They're gonna be very happy with the service that you can provide when you're using automated services like these. And of course, you'll have a higher chance of getting returning customers this way. So scalability, returning customers, these are the two points that you really want to take advantage of when drop shipping. So we went over order automation. I hope it wasn't too confusing for you. Once again, you guys have full guides to everything that you need. And of course, if you do not understand anything, if you have any questions that you want to ask, just drop them down right here below. And if you've seen our other videos, we always love commenting and helping out in the comment section below. So go ahead and feel free. So we talked about how to also handle returns on AliExpress. But what about customer service? So I already mentioned that you want to work with suppliers that are highly responsive. You want to work with suppliers that have a high rating on AliExpress that have been around for a while. And then you also want to send them a message. So when you're sending them a message, you're actually testing out their response speed. And if they're English and if they understand English, which of course is very, very important. And when a buyer reaches out to you for anything that they may need, you want to reply to your buyers as fast as possible with the best answers and value that you can give them. If the buyer wants to know what's going on with his order, check with your supplier or get the information really quick and reply back as soon as possible. If the buyer has any certain problem, like, like the item isn't as described or the product didn't arrive on time or he's simply not happy with the product, take all this information, share it with your seller on AliExpress and see what solutions they can provide you that you can provide back to your buyer. The main thing here is always check out your buyer's messages, even if they have problems, help them out in every way possible because customer service is worth much more than that sell you made from that customer. Work hard on customer service, take your business seriously. So we went over all of the important steps of how to start a successful dropshipping business from Shopify. Now I wanna go over some of the best AliExpress extensions that you can use when dropshipping from AliExpress. Now we do have a top ex AliExpress extensions article. Once again, it's linked in the blog right below this video. But my favorite picks from that bunch, first of all, is the AliExpress free invoice generator. And this simply helps you create free invoices from your orders on AliExpress. So if you're processing your orders manually on AliExpress and you need an invoice from one of your cells, let's say your accountant needs it, it's very easy to use this extension and then and simply go to your order on AliExpress, you'll have a, a little icon, a little logo next to your order. As soon as you click on that, it'll create a free invoice. And this is something that a lot of people have been asking for. Why are, do we not have invoices on AliExpress? This will solve that problem for you. Then you've got AliSave. This is one of the most popular extensions for AliExpress dropshippers. What this does is it, it, it allows you to save the images and videos that you have inside your product listings on AliExpress. Now, 
even though the dropshipping tool like AutoDS will take these images anyway and import them to your store anyway, there are images that dropshipping tools cannot get a hold of and that's exactly what I'm showing you here is when you scroll further down below in the product listing on AliExpress, you cannot save these images because if you can see here, it's actually just one big long image and if I save it, it's just going to save a web page. It's not going to save the images one by one. And this is one of those things that the extension, this is one of the problems that this extension can solve. So with AliSave, you can easily save all of the images and all of the videos that you have on your listings on AliExpress, besides what the dropshipping tool was able to grab for you. Next, you've got AliExpress search by image. So if there's ever a product that you're seeing on one of your competitor's websites, and you're wondering where he's getting it from, or if that same product is being sold on AliExpress, with this extension, you can simply get any image that you see on the web and search for that product to see if it's being sold on AliExpress. That's actually very, very useful and I know a lot of dropshippers who are using it. Next, you've got the Up Assistant. Up Assistant is a great extension that can help you out with many things especially when you're doing your product research, it can help you find lots of other sellers that are selling a, a specific, a particular product with lower prices, better images, better reviews, and it helps you conduct easy supplier research when trying to find the best suppliers to work with on AliExpress. So definitely use Up Assistant. Then you've got AliExpress Parcels My Orders. What this does, and it's especially useful once you have a lot of orders per day and you're still processing them manually, instead of having to go and open each order one by one and seeing the tracking details, with AliExpress Parcels My Orders, you can see all of your tracking details in just one click all in one screen so it'll make it that much easier for you and save you a lot of time instead of once again having to open up each order one by one and seeing the tracking details there. Now let's go over how we can increase our profits when we're dropshipping on AliExpress because now we've already got everything up and running and we're already making sales but now it's time to maximize, make more profits from what we already have. So we know that the more products we have, the more that they're in demand, the more sales we're going to make. So of course, you know, we're gonna to have to work very hard on product research, which I already mentioned in this video. But then again, you've also got other things that can help you make an extra buck on every sale, things like having cash back. So how would you like on every order that you're processing manually to get some cash back from that? You have a lot of tools that help you get cash back from your AliExpress orders. One of the most popular ones is the Giving Assistant button Chrome extension. Once again, the link to that in the blog article below this video. Check that out, get coupons, and get cash back when you're processing your orders manually. Another way to increase your dropshipping profits is once you make a sale, you wanna search other sellers for a cheaper product. Now, one of the extensions above are, are, are already doing that, but the AliTools Shopping Assistant does a much better job when it comes to product research and supplier seller research when you're product researching on AliExpress. So use the AliExpress Shopping Assistant tool to be able to find lower prices for products that you are just about to buy. That pretty much wraps up this video of how to dropship from AliExpress, no matter what selling channel you want to dropship on. Now, of course, there's so much information and so much more value that we can share with you guys, but there's always a limit to how much we can on each and every piece of content. So if there's any content that was left unanswered, please let me know in the comments below. And of course, check out our blog page, check out our YouTube channel, subscribe, of course, if you haven't done so yet, because this is the type of value that we deliver along with so much more. Once again, I'll be leaving links below this video to help you guys out as much as possible, along with the free Shopify dropshipping course, full tutorial of how to dropship on Facebook Marketplace, and a full tutorial of how to dropship on eBay. And we've got so much more content coming up, guys. So let us know what you're looking for. Let me know if anything went unanswered. Thank you for watching. Good luck with your AliExpress dropshipping business. And of course, I will see you in the future videos.